You know, curbing your appetite to lose weight is really much more simple than it sounds. And I think I can give some reminders of simple things that you can do to curb the appetite while losing weight. A few of the viewers had mentioned and asked about how do you curb your appetite? And for those of us that have been watching the channel from the beginning, I understand that you are veteran type of fasters and you know what to do. But there's a lot of people that have joined the channel that are beginning at fasting and beginning to find things that are healthy for them, especially us mature ladies, and trying to see what works for us at this age versus, say, in our 20s. Let's touch base on some of these things. Apple cider vinegar is such an amazing super food type of drink, which it has a lot of antibodies in there and antioxidants, great as a energy booster, as well as curbing the appetite. And so I try to drink apple cider vinegar in the mornings. You only need a splash of it in your water. And if you like to squeeze lemon as well, that also gives you a burst of energy, a lot of antioxidants as well. And so it sets up your day so that you are not hungry if you are trying to fast as well. Also, even if you're not fasting extended period of time, it's still a great way to start your day. And I also utilize it, the cocktail with a splash of cayenne pepper as well. Believe it or not, it's good for the gut and it's very good for the stomach to help soothe you as well as to help your digestive system and it still gives you that burst of energy as well with it. So I do the cayenne pepper uh, with the lemon juice, I squeeze into the apple cider vinegar. Again, I don't really measure, I just splash it in, voila, that's my drink. And that gets me uh, through the day, at least most of the day, past lunchtime. And of course, you're drinking additional water with it. What I notice about curbing the appetite, and again, you don't have to fast to curb your appetite so you can just eat better in general. When you add more fruits and vegetables to your diet, this will help you calm down that extra cravings for sugar and processed foods. When you start eating whole food, plant-based foods and add it more into your usual diet, it will usually calm down those cravings. And because you're eating real food, now your body is getting the nutrition and the high density of it and still have low calorie density that will keep you satiated enough and it will keep you away from the junk food. You know what I'm talking about, the salty food like potato chips, things like that. So the more whole foods you eat, the less junk food you will desire. So basically you're fighting that hunger hormone and it's called Grenland. And Grenland is something that needs to be suppressed. And so when that increases, then it's causing you to crave all the wrong foods. A protein shake or a smoothie, if you will, are really good for suppressing the appetite when you're dealing with that hunger pangs, right? If you need to make a smoothie in the middle of the day and make that your meal for lunchtime, that will get you over the hump to dinner time. When you have more protein in the diet, it really does help when it comes to curbing the appetite, but also it keeps you satiated longer. Also fats also keep you more satiated as well. But if you're doing whole food type of fats like avocado and you throw that into your protein shake, you'll see the difference in how you feel and you might not wanna eat all day, especially if you begin to fast in an extended time frame. The other thing I do is teas. Teas gets me through the day as well. And I never really think about it on a regular basis. And what I do know about teas, green tea is great. You got dandelion root type of teas, which also helps with detoxing. And any kind of herbal tea that as long as it doesn't have an additional sweetness to it, then you are doing the right thing for your body. You'll feel better as well as you won't be rushing out to grab that snack that you've been thinking about in your cupboard all day. Now, 
If you're doing an extended fast and you really want to eat something, I would first go after coconut water. Coconut water is such a great thing and make sure it's organic as well. And yes, it has natural sugars in it, but it will calm down those cravings and definitely keep the appetite in check. You can do a coconut water type of fast as well. A lot of people do, and that gets you through the day and gets you through many days if you're going through an extended fast. Coconut water is something additional that I would do if I am still continuing to have these extra sugar cravings. And so it's really a good healthy drink to have. It's a form of vitamins that your body really needs and it replenishes you just like potassium and different types of vitamins, almost as good as eating a full banana. I can't stress this enough is sleep. You sleep, you're curbing your appetite right there. You are trying to replenish the juices and it repairs the cells in your body. And so it's going to bring back balance when you have that quality sleep. If you're a person like me that has trouble staying asleep, I would try again teas before bed. Um, also there's sleepy time tea that is great because it has valerian root in it and that will help you sleep longer and better. And if you have a lot of stress going on, that will cause you to crave foods and also to binge eat. I know when I stress, I binge. And so what I do know, if I start to drink more tea and get more sleep in that night, maybe you write down some things that are bothering you the night before you go to bed and let it out on the paper versus letting it out in your mind as you're trying to sleep. The other additional thing that I would use if I'm not, if I don't have sleepy time tea, I would use Calm. Calm has the magnesium that we need in our body to balance out as well. So magnesium, potassium, and calcium are the three factors right there that needs to calm the nerves and calm the stress so that you can get the quality sleep. So Calm is an old favorite of mine and that's something you may wanna check out as well. So when you're deficient in certain areas in that vitamins and minerals, that's something you wanna check in your blood work and see what's happening and then adjust the vitamin intake because we may not be getting enough when we're eating whole food plant-based. If you are the type of person that's just naturally or genetically deficient in certain areas, please do check with your doctor and make sure you're balancing those things out, especially the hormones, because we're always gonna fight and try to figure out a balance, right? And this is why this channel is all about balancing and healthy habits that we can lead us to being the person that we wanna be. And that's not binging and eating extreme things. We wanna have a better relationship with food in general. So again, when you decrease the stress and get to the root of the problem or the issue, or some challenge, something that is plaguing you in your mind, maybe it's just writing it down and just thinking and seeing it on the paper. I think it will release a lot of the stress off of you. The other thing is praying. Pray with God, tell him your issues and your problems. He speaks to you intuitively. He speaks to you in many different ways, showing you signs, maybe visions, whatever the gift is that he's given you, it will help release these type of stresses which also triggers you to doing the bad things in your diet. You see how you have a revolving door and it's basically a cycle. And so if you can fix one thing in that cycle, whether it's mentally, physically, spiritually, they're all connected, right? So if you can figure out one or two things that will help you calm down the nerves, then it will calm down the appetite. And the last thing is, if you can just fast 36 hours on up, 36 to 48 hours or even 72 hour fast, those fasts will help get rid of the sugar cravings. I find that when I do 48 to 72 hours, you definitely knock out the desire for wanting to reach for anything that is sugar driven. I hope that helped which is giving you a little bit of tips to help curb the appetite. If you are looking for more videos in weight loss, please do check out my weight loss videos that I have in my playlist. And if that's something that you're working through, I thank you so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you on the next video. Always keep searching for the perfect bite and balance. Bye.